Hello everyone to the season, welcome back into my channel. In this channel we discuss luxury fashion, men's style, and luxury goods. Now in today's video we have gathered here to celebrate the amazing life of my Louis Vuitton Neverfull because unfortunately she has passed on the next life. <laughs> wow, that was too dramatic. Okay, let me reel it back in. So. Hello everyone, in today's video I will be talking about the unfortunately event that happened to my Neverfull. This is something that I have hinted on the last two videos, however, I felt that I needed to make a dedicated video for this because I don't know what it is, but I was already kind of falling out of the Neverfull. And, you know, throughout YouTube, I feel like it's an ongoing thing where the Neverfull is such a key component to everyone's collection. But once you have it for a while, you start to realize how common it is. I mean, I worked in Manhattan and I see maybe like 20 to 30 Neverfulls on any given day when I'm out. So I notice that I tend not to gravitate towards it in comparison to some of my other bags which is ridiculous because this is one of the bags that I really, really wanted for my collection. I'm still missing the Alma, I have the Speedy, and the Neverfull kind of completed that set. However, I don't know if it's worth it for me to keep it at this point, but let me show you the damage that happened to my Neverfull. Now, please get ready because look at this. Yes. The side piece that kind of cinches in the back broke on me, and it is in the most ridiculously thing possible. Now, the Neverfull is meant to be a bag that you can use in your everyday life. Uh, a lot of people use it for work, which is what I was using it as. I was running out of my office to attend another meeting, and this got stuck to the edge of a desk. However, I didn't realize that it broke at all. I literally just felt like a, like a little tug and then a release, but I just thought nothing of it because, you know, these pieces are made to last. And little did I know, I was literally on the train from Soho back up to Midtown and I look down and all I see is this just dingling away. And I was in shock. I literally went to a few meetings that day, so I was very perplexed on why no one told me. I know this happens a lot to Neverfulls, and it's a common recurrent. I've seen it a lot in the pre-love market, and I am kind of debating whether I want to keep it or try to go to Louis Vuitton and make up a story on how it broke, because I am embarrassed. So, yeah. Um... It's literally broken. I literally called my best friend because uh, she was actually in the car when I purchased this back in 2020. So it's been with me for a good two years or coming on to two years. And I can literally count in my hands on how many times I've worn this. It couldn't be more than 10 times. Um, I, I like the bag. You know, it's a staple. However... Um, I'm just noticing a lot of defects with it that were not there when I got this back. And I'm kind of perplexed or I don't understand where the, um, why the bachette is acting like this. Like in this side over here, I don't know if you guys can tell. There's some cracking on the, oh. yeah, right there. There's some cracking on the leather piece over here. Um, and again, here, as you can see, the edging of it is also cracking. Now, I'm not sure if any of you have gone to Louis Vuitton and, you know, gotten this. There's also some water damage over here. Um to get the entire of a shutter replaced because the interior of the bag is in pretty good condition and while I do have that discoloration um, and that little cracking the condition overall is not that horrible I also have a little interior um, what do you call this oh my god 
a back organizer. And then I also have a beige shaper. Now this is key because if I'm not kidding, this bag is a big empty hole. And I am just like afraid that if I overcarry it with like my laptop and a few things, it's going to affect the edges, which corner wear I barely have any. Um, let me just there. I don't know, it doesn't want to assume. But yeah, so you guys can see the corners are in pretty good condition. And even the interior, I have literally like no damage overall. It's in amazing condition. Yeah, and these are not the new versions. This is the, I think, pre-2012 edition. I need to look back and like... Actually, let me see the deco. Yeah, this is a 2008 edition, I think made in Spain. Um, so yeah, RIP to her, she's lived an amazing life. And you know what, this is the funny thing about me and this bag. <laughs> I really like it, and it's funny because now that I'm having it in my hand, I remember why I call it, Jess is flappy and you see, she's losing her shape already. Um, so let's, let's give her some life and put this back organizer back inside because Lord, no, she needs it. As you can see, it really, really bounces the shape back up. Now, I really uh, consider getting the Goyard um, St. Louis as a replacement for this. However, um... I did something and I bought another item. Give me one second. So yeah, I considered getting the Goyard St. Louis. However, I literally found the most amazing Goyard bark, uh, Goyard bark, Goyard back on the real real. And when I tell you I saw it and immediately knew I needed to have it. And so I have it. <laughs> yeah, I ended up getting this uh, Goyard briefcase. I'm blanking out on the name of the actual style. But it looks so good. I wanted something from Goyard for a hot minute, about two years now. And when I saw this for the incredible price, I was like, snatch, snatch, I need it right now. I did end up selling my Balenciaga crossbody in order to make up for it, which surprisingly almost covered the entirety of this bag, which I'm still like in shock because these typically go anywhere between two thousand to three thousand dollars and I found it for basically a fifth of that price um yeah so she's home with me but let's go back to the main event the Neverfull iconic ever so reliable but unfortunately she has needed to go back to either Louis you will not believe what just happened. My SIM card got completely full and the video had to get cut. I, this has never happened to me. And I'm like, it's very ironic. I'm doing a video about a never full and now my SIM card is full. Um, if that is not an irony, um, I don't know what is, but I think it's a good note for me to end this video because I think she's coming back to life to possess my SIM card. Well, I'll leave you guys with that. Thank you all for joining me on this video. Um, I really did enjoy, you know, having my never for my collection. But like I said, I'm kind of in the crossroads where cost per wear, I don't know if it's worth it for me keeping it. Every time I look at it and I use it, I love it. But it's just getting to the point of me using it that's being the issue. So I guess we'll see in the upcoming months if um, I get a good offer or I decide to keep it and maybe send it to Louis Vuitton for it to get, you know, revitalized or revitalized um, in one of their spots. I don't know if they're going to actually allow me to do that since I wasn't the original buyer, but, you know, it never hurts to go and ask. So, 
I might end up doing that just because I know this bag has some life left in it. So enough of me rambling on. This is officially the end of the video. If you guys like this content, please make sure to leave a like down below. If you have any comments on the Neverfull or any of its sisters, like the Speedy or the Alma, please make sure to leave in the comment section down below. And if you have had any experiences like this where the side straps just rip on you, please make sure to leave that below because I honestly was in disbelief when I saw this. Um, and I'm sure I'm not the only one that this has happened to because I've literally seen a bunch of them on the pre-love market. So, you know, down there, leave your comments. <laughs> If you like the content I'm putting out, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. I'm trying to grow this channel, and like I said, it took a little bit of a hiatus just to get adjusted with my job, but now I'm figuring out a schedule for me to post, so this video is probably going to go out on July 4th. Happy the 4th! I know we're not the most, in the best political space possible, however, um, we need to keep moving forward. And I think I am going to do a video later on addressing some of those political issues and the crossroads between that and luxury fashion, which, to be quite honest, it, they're kind of diametrical right now. <laughs> one is going up and another one is going down. But it kind of speaks a lot to the societal norms that we're currently experiencing. So maybe I'll do a video later on kind of, you know, discussing that whole mess. Um, but yeah. I hope you guys have an amazing, amazing holiday, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye!